RTM oscilloscope with 500 megahertz bandwidth. Um, it offers a sampling rate of up to 5 gigasamples per second and a memory depth of 20 megasamples, which is industry leading in that range of oscilloscopes. Nobody offers that much of um, memory depth. Right now we have an analog channel on uh, the display. It's connected via our active probe with our demo board. And um, um, one key upgrade into that new oscilloscope is uh, adding an MSO option for digital channels. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate now. All of the instruments, they, they are prepared for MSO, so customers don't need to decide in advance if they want MSO or not. They just get an option later on. You can plug the digital probes onto the side and um, you get the digital channels over here. So I'm going to switch them on now. <coughs> Switching on four of the channels that are connected to our demo board too. Okay, and we can also not only see the digital channels, which are the blue ones over here. Let's um, move it. You see better. We can also decode that bus. Go here. Switch the decode on. And now we should have the bus representation of the uh, of the digital channels. And now, right now, you can also s already see that the screen size might be too small if you have too many signals, like now the analog one, the digital signals, plus the bus, there's not space enough. So what we did is we uh, implemented a so-called virtual screen. So we push this button, you get this scroll bar up and down, and now we can enhance the size of the screen from eight divisions to 20 divisions and get more space to see all the signals. So right now I can move the bus down and now I have the space enough to see all my signals without overlapping which helps you give give more overview. This is unique, no one else offers something like that uh, in that range of instruments. Another nice feature that we have in that scope is you, this is a bench oscilloscope so you want a quick view on your signal, you don't want to spend a lot of time in booting up and in getting the results. So off immediately, boot time is around 7 to 8 seconds, the instrument will be up very soon. So that's really unique, even, even other instruments that don't have windows on site, they take a bit longer to boot. And now, pressing one single button, you get for the active signal the nine key parameters, key characteristics like rise time, fall time, peak values, mean values, period, frequency, just pushing a button, you get all of this. So it's quite handy for anybody to get the scope, do a quick measurement and have a quick look on the signal.